Hello everyone, Tom Pounder here, and welcome back for another episode of The Family Chit Chat. I wanna start by asking a question. Have you ever been curious about what will happen in the future? And have you ever been curious to see or hear from those people who say, I can predict the future, I can tell you what's gonna happen in the future? Well, as sometimes they, they come about and say, yeah, we can predict the future, very rarely will they ever be able to predict the future. However, back in the day, there were people called prophets, and these guys were people who predicted the future. However, they predicted the future not because of their own knowledge, like the people do today, but because of knowledge they received from God, and that God had given them information to then go share with other people. Well, today I want to look at something that one prophet said many, many years ago, and then how God fulfilled that prophecy that he had said. And so I'm going to ask you to pause the video right now, read these two short stories, and answer these few questions, and then see how God fulfilled the prophecy that this man said. All right, pause the video right now, and when you're done, press play, and we'll continue. All right, so many years ago, a prophet named Zechariah received the word from the Lord that a king was gonna be coming in humbly riding on a donkey into the city. And guess what happened? Jesus came riding in on a donkey uh, into Jerusalem. So how does this all play together? Well, this is another example of Jesus fulfilling the prophecy of what God had said many, many years ago through Zechariah. And that Jesus came riding in the donkey as he was getting into Jerusalem to have the last suffer and ultimately die and then rise again a few days later. So this goes hand in hand with each other. And what does this mean? What does this tell us about God? Why is this such a big deal? Well, here's the bottom line for today. Whatever happens, remember God keeps his promises. God has many promises that you can see in the Bible and many promises about Jesus that were fulfilled by Jesus. You see, God shared prophecies through the prophets in the Old Testament that Jesus fulfilled in the New Testament. And now, as crazy as life can be, we may think, well, Jesus and God, they, they can't come through with me. I, I, if something bad is happening, they won't come through. The difference, though, is that Jesus fulfills the promises of God. And God shows throughout history how he fulfills promises uh, to us. And we can see those promises laid out in the Bible, and we can see how they're fulfilled later on. So it's great to remember that no matter how times get tough and when things go bad, we can always rely on God's promises. And one of the promises is, of course, God is love. And we can see how much God loves us by sending his son Jesus to come down on earth, live among us, die for us, and then rise again uh, three days later. So I want to encourage you that don't be discouraged in anything that happens. Remember that God has promises for us and God wants to take care of us and guide us. So all we have to do is trust God and rely on him to see how those promises get fulfilled. So trust in him today, because remember, God keeps his promises. Okay, also as we wrap up, I wanna look at the Bible verse that we've been looking at for the past few weeks. It's John 16, 33. In this world you all have trouble, but be encouraged, I've won the battle over the world. God's promises is that he will be victorious ultimately, and God will guide you. And while you may have a moment of trouble and sadness or sorrow, God is there for you. God loves you and cares for you and wants the best for you. So rely on God's promises. We can always remember that. All right, everyone. Well, I hope you have a great rest of the day. And I'll talk to you next week with a whole new story. Have a great week, everyone.